What is up boys and girls and welcome back. It's Abba, like always with some more Evolve, Carnage, Footage. Lazarus' hand is freaking glitching out right there. So as you can tell, we're going to play Medic this time. We're playing my boy Lazarus, which is definitely my favorite. My all-time favorite Medic. I haven't played Kyra yet, as I've, as I've stated before, because I have not pre-ordered the game yet. But that's fine. Lazarus is a beast. And let's see who our team is. Right, we have Maggie as our trapper. Very nice. I actually like Maggie out of all the other trappers. Um, Markov, you know, he's decent. I think I prefer to hide over Markov just because of that sick flamethrower. And we're taking on the Kraken today. So I hope Mr. FXCA Wolf is ready. Because Lazarus, Markov, and Maggie are going to bring the pain. I'm guessing... Our support is going to be Hank, is going to be controlled by a computer, but I have no idea here. Um, Boots on the ground, trigger fingers ready. Good idea, Hank. Good advice. No one else? No one else has to has anything to elaborate on? Alright, that's cool. We're going to get dropped down, and we're going to start our hunt for the Kraken. Beautiful map. I love this map so much. Um, very dense forest, kind of gloomy but not too dark, and lots and lots of cliffs. I mean, it's more advantageous for the monster more than anything, but that's fine. The monster needs all the advantage he, he can get because we're going to rock his socks in a box. Anyways, enough rhyming. I'm not good with the rhyming stuff, man. I'm not Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss was a genius. With his cat in the hat and all the other stuff. Now these things are nasty. These things are so nasty. I got a liberator like bonus there. Um, that's for liberating our holy crap. That's for uh, whenever monster thing is on, whether it's a mega mouth, one of the the sea shark things. Um, if you liberate them, you get the liberator thing and it gives you more points at the end of the match. It's pretty cool. Healing Anyways, you saw, you saw there, I popped my um, my heal burst right away just to heal up our um, our our teammates here because we do not want them at, at a low health, especially early on. Especially when I don't need the heal burst, you know, it's not during a match. You do find FX Wolf right away. Holy crap, I almost fell down, but I'm like, you know what, I think I'd rather stick up here. I think I'd rather stick down here. Then I fall down. Hello, monster. Put a few shots in him so my team can do more damage. We do want to deplete as much HP as we can. Because if uh, because we have the armor down and, you know, as we all know, uh, help does not regenerate. It's it's forever gone, no matter if you evolve to stage 2 or 3. It's always gone. Please shoot. It's probably a bad idea to be up there because I am the medic and uh, as Lazarus, you know, my healing options are very Bingo's limited. He tries flame breathing. Where he misses. Alright, he's coming down here. That's fine. You want to bring the fight to me? Good shot by Maggie right there. I make a little quick escape maneuver behind this. The container. Holy crap, he came for me. Alright. Hank, where are you? I need the shield, bud. I need the shield. See there, I, we actually take off a pretty good chunk of his health. Already down two bars out of five really early on. That's gonna hurt. All right, Hank is down. That's fine though. Who's Lazarus? I'm Lazarus. I go in there for the kill. Oh man, monster's protecting him. But he backs off. That's fine by me. Here you go, Hank. Get back up. Sorry about that and everything else. I popped the cloak. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't need to since the monster ran away, but, you know, I was like, okay, the monster has me in his sights. He's not leaving Hank alone. Healing Let me disappear for a little ready. bit, heal him a little bit later. As I said, Lazarus is probably the most patient. You have to be the most patient with Lazarus out of all the medics because Lazarus, you know, he doesn't have healing grenades like Kyra. He doesn't have a med gun like Val. So the only way he can really help your teammates is by reviving them with Lazarus device. And, you know, sometimes the monster uses a downed enemy, a downed ally, as bait for Lazarus to come out. So, you know what? It's fine. You know, even if the red bar goes down and they're, you know, quote-unquote permanently dead, you still have 30 seconds after that 
to uh, to revive him. So you know, it's really it's really critical for you to stay patient, stay calm, and uh, look for the most opportune moment, as Captain Jack Sparrow would say. We find the monster right away, though. He has a little bit ar of armor back, but that's fine. No, we could we could easily take that down, especially if we get another dome on him this early on. We could really really mess him up. But it doesn't seem like uh, our Hopper's dome is uh, his cooldown is is done yet. Reavers are super annoying. I feel like the wildlife during the beta was much more aggressive than it was ever in the alpha. Holy crap! The monster is right here. I don't think he sees me. Or he might have saw me and then he was like, you know what, I'm not even going to deal with you because I'm a level 1 monster, which is smart on his part. I would do the same thing. I would be like, you know what, I see you, medic, but uh, I think the most important thing for me right now is to evolve. And uh, that's what he should be doing. Now, I'm trying to stay on his tracks. I'm trying to stay on his tracks. I'm trying to be the king of the jungle here. Seems like he's down there. You need to be careful. Down here is where... Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. It's that river monster. It's like a shark. It's really dangerous. It, it pounces on you so quickly. We see a monster though. He's trying to sneak. No luck for you. Putting some uh, targets on the back. Maybe you could chip away at his armor. And he's having the hardest time evolving. Thanks to us. Now, as you can see, hybrid mines, which I have no idea. Is that our, I think that's our support. His HP is pretty low. But uh, I can't really heal him if he's not in my vicinity. So I can't use my healing burst to kind of heal him up. The monster's heading this way, though. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine, buddy. You think you're hiding? The only reason I'm not shooting him is to let him feel safe. To let him feel like he's, uh, you know, out of harm's way. But no, man. I'm right behind you. Like, I'm seriously just right behind him. I have no idea where my... Oh, great dome. Yeah, great dome. You know, applause there. I mean, not to, you know, be a, a jerk or anything, but uh, that wasn't very good. I mean, the monster wasn't really running away. He was kind of crouching and, you know, trying to be stealthy. I decided to back off and heal our teammates right quick. That sucks that we weren't able to get that early dome. That early dome, that second early dome, actually. We already got an early dome. That second early dome could have really helped us take out the monster really quickly but uh luckily for him is possible. our trapper missed unfortunately and it seems like we have nothing. lost more Feel or less the, the monster's tracks i think he might have came down here you know water does not leave tracks so uh he might have come back here very smartly you know we were just up here Feeling is possible. we're just up here and yeah, it, it seems like he, he might have gone, gone this way. Using my jetpack. I hear the monster. He seems to be on the right side. And like I said, if you're not, if you're listening to this on speakers, it, I highly suggest you uh, watch these videos. You know, whether they're my videos, anyone else's videos with headphones on. Because you really get immersed. You just really, really hear the audio. It's like, okay, I you're a monster, like giant footsteps to my right side, and uh, you might head over that way instead of you know to the left or straight if uh, you feel up for it. I mean, sometimes it's a, it's another monster, right? There's there's elite monsters, really big monsters, monsters that could you know take down a, a teammate, two teammates easily on sheer, and those can make big uh, you know big footstep noises, but uh, most likely it's gonna be the monster. And at this point, it seems like we do not know where the monster is. He did a really good job of uh, just going away. And you can see there, man, that wildlife, especially those, uh, whoa, got caught there. Those bird monsters, they look like bird heads and they have like no arms, they're just like legs. They're really weird, but they do so much damage. But uh, it seems like we're following Daisy at this point. Daisy could help us uh, get back on the track. To find the monster. There we go. Get off of her, you sick person. Alright, bullets poison the monster. Well, that's better than no perk, I suppose. I mean, it's not definitely not my favorite perk by a long shot. 
My team's right behind me though, so I feel pretty safe following Daisy, leading the pack. We have not seen footsteps for a very long time, as we see a footstep right there. Alright! Seems like we have fight on the monster now. Now that perk that the monster has is so nasty. Oh that that's a that that's the same monster I was telling you about. That thing is so annoying. And it's so dangerous. Luckily we take it down. Let's take the perk. Health regen? Hey. That's pretty good as Lazarus as the medic. And the monster slipped up, scared some birds there. Some birds pretty damn close by too. So we should be on his tracks pretty soon. There, I have healed you. Now, this is gonna be a pretty long match. We're already at 11 minutes. I don't know. A good monster, a good monster, you know. Matches tend to stick till the third stage, so I'm guessing if you fight a good monster, and I mean, you know, sometimes, you know, even good players have a bad game, so, you know, if they're having, if you're fighting a good monster on a good day, on a good match, the match is technically a long 20 minutes, uh, so be prepared for that if the monster is that good. But it seems like we do have tracks on him. I don't think he's even evolved to stage 2 yet. Which is really strange, considering the time that we've uh, spent here. We do dome him, though. Holy crap, we domed him at level 1 again. 11 minutes in, he did not evolve. What is up with that? Um, you can see there, he uses Flame Breath. We all get caught in it, which is unfortunate. Flame Breath is very deadly if we're all, uh, you know, really close together. He, he smacks around a little bit. You know, he has armor in a waste, which, you know, you he's, he's using to his uh, advantage. You know, maybe he can get a strike Healing on us. Ready. Maybe he can get a... What, what else do they call it? I think it's called a strike. So, uh, he could get a strike on us, which would uh, affect us for the rest of the match. But I am Lazarus, so as long as I brought him back with the Lazarus device, it might not matter that much. What matters right now is him not losing any more HP or else, uh going to be really nasty for him. Now you can see the flame breath right there actually. Holy crap, look at that horrible strike that completes his full armor. We're digging into his health now. Holy crap. Our support did work there. That orbital strike was so good. Holy crap. We took, he's down to two bars of health. But the dome is down. Um, it didn't seem like the dome stayed up that long. I mean, I know it probably did, but uh, you know. He's really short. Ah, Alright, he circled right around us. He's heading the opposite way of where we're going, which is good on him. Good tactics. Tyrant and that tyrant. Oh, that's what they're called. Tyrants. Tyrants are so freaking OP. You can see there. Man, our teammate goes down really quickly really really quickly I need help. I'm down. and it's still alive I don't want to go in there I'm like you know what I'm the medic I should probably not go in there luckily our support gets Maggie back up you know she gets a little a, a strike there because I didn't pick her up but that, you know I decided to be a little bit safe I decided to not you know risk getting that strike on me because it's so important as Lazarus to have Full HP since, like I said before, you know, your team really, really depends on you because you have no way of healing them during battle, except for the heal burst. But that's not constant healing, is it? Now, I do believe the monster is still not at stage 2. I, I have no idea why he's not at stage 2, you know, where... About 15 minutes in, and he's not stage 2. That is pretty damn ridiculous, in my opinion. Uh, this is no reason for him not to be at stage 2 or higher. A pop a heal burst right there. I don't know what these are either. These are pretty, uh, pretty nasty, also. 
There he goes down. He did not have a perk. Usually these bigger monsters have uh, really nice perks. Like uh, the best perk probably as Lazarus, in my opinion, is if you get a uh, class special 50% cooldown rate increase. That is so big. You pop heal burst like there's no tomorrow. You get your personal cloak twice, you know, or your cloak has half the cooldown rate. Lazarus device half the cooldown rate is so good super good as Lazarus because he has so many uh, class cooldown Abilities, you know, he has a heal burst Lazarus device and this personal cloak whereas Val, you know, she only has uh, a heal burst as a, as a class cooldown So that wouldn't affect her that much but Lazarus has three compared to one and I think Kyra has two she has the heal burst and the adrenaline boost, which increases your team's speed. Now, I see the monster. I'm like, hey, monster's right there, man. He has no armor right now, so it'd be so nice if we could get the dome up on him. But he clears the swamp really, really quickly. But he's scaring birds up the wazoo. Like little birdies, let me scare your little feathers and wings and let the hunters know I'm here. Now we have him here. Markov kind of uh, cut him off, but the monster's like, you know what? I'm out of here. As you can see, I, as you can see, the monster had I think about two bars when he was level one. Uh, you know that doubled to almost four when he leveled up to stage two. So. Uh, his HP doubled, but you know, it didn't triple. It didn't, you know, it, it doubled at a low rate or something like that. Anyways, I, excuse my commentary. I know uh, it might be a little bit weird. It might be a little bit less energetic than I usually am. That is because, one, this match is really long, so it's hard to keep up high energy for the entirety of it. But two, it's about midnight here, and I have school the next day. I'm starting my semester, by the way. Um, wow, that's... Is that a dome miss? That's a dome miss, yeah. Alright, well, uh... Well, yeah, on... January the 21st, I start my first day of uh, my new semester, and... Man, that monster is trying to get that perk, but I'm, like, shooting him. I'm like, nah, you're not getting that perk. And, unfortunately, he moves before we get the orbital strike on him, but it seems like we might be able to finish him off here. Hello, monster. He's doing a really good job of just running away. It's kind of annoying as a hunter, but it's completely understandable as a, as a monster. He's like, I have no armor. I'm not level 3 yet. It's, you know, it's not a, it's not a good time. I cut him off, though. You know, that, that cavern leads through that hole. So if he was going to escape, it was going to be through that hole. Someone died. Our trapper is dead. How did that happen? The world may never know. I don't know. I don't know. Probably got trapped by the tyrant. The tyrant's such a pain in the ass. And uh, I think Maggie's going to have two strikes on her if she comes back before we finish this match off. The round is going to end, though, in two minutes. That's interesting. Um, you know, personally, you know, up to this point, uh, I have not have had a match run out of time. So that's, that's really interesting. That's really interesting. Um, I know the clock stops at some point, but I have no idea what causes it to stop at all. Like, if, if the monster engages you, does the clock stop? If the monster is level 3, does it reset? Because now its priority is to take down the power relay. I have no idea how that really works. But if you have an idea in the comments, or leave it down in the comments below. Man, that tyrant though. That tyrant is such a pain in the ass, I'm telling you, man. That tyrant is really, really nasty. Probably the nastiest monster in here next to the Goliath or the Kraken or the Wraith, depending on who you're fighting. Now, I do have footage of the Wraith. 
which uh, should be interesting to show. And I say interesting because I do have uh, complaints about the Wraith. Healing field ready. But I think that's that's totally normal. I mean, if you if you played the big alpha that was back in like October of last year, uh, you knew that the Kraken was really OP. Um, every time you bought the Kraken, you had maybe a 10% chance of winning. It was that powerful. And now when you fight the Kraken, it, it really is so much. I wouldn't say easier. It's more balanced. It's definitely more balanced. Maybe uh, the cooldowns are tweaked a little bit. The damage output might be tweaked. Who knows? And the Wraith definitely needs to tweak it. Anyways, I'll save, I'll save that video for later. I am going to make a discussion video on the Wraith specifically and what I would like to see Turtle Rock Studios do with the Wraith moving forward and how I would like it to be tweaked. This is really a game of cat and mouse here. We are the cats, and we are chasing him down as fast as, and as hard as we can here. You know, he has so little health that, you know, one dome, one encounter will really just, uh, just put the nail in the wood. Is that, is that a phrase? That's not a phrase. I made that up right now, man. That doesn't make no goddamn sense. See me and the assault, man. We're we're both really good at uh, tracking down the monster, cutting him off. Uh, but unfortunately, I can't really help him when it comes to damage dealing. Also, uh, I I love Lazarus. He's probably my favorite class to play as, my favorite character to play as. But during this beta, I played support a little bit more. And not as Hank, as Bucket, and I really, really am digging the Bucket gameplay, man. Bucket, he's, he's something special, man. I'll, I'll let you know, he's something special. That Bucket, yes he is. And, uh... And that monster, man, he's seriously just running in circles. It's getting a little bit tedious. It's, I don't really know what to say here. I mean, he's biding his time. He's trying to probably evolve to stage three. I mean, that would be ideal. At least get some armor back up because uh, at this point, he's he's not much of a threat at all to us. He's out there. I think I hear him. I don't see him though. Oh, he's right over there. Can we dome him? Can we dome him? He's coming straight at me. Come at me, punk. Come at me. I dare you. I dare you to come at me. I have my personal cloak. I have my heal burst. You're going down. Bad move on you. He was doing really well just avoiding us for the longest time. Holy crap, Morella. Crap, Morella. That sounds like... Uh, that sounds like... Crap, basically. Anyways, the monster goes down finally. Holy crap, he was really good at abating. And uh, that that's it for the monster. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys found this uh, match interesting in the strategic point of view. You know, the, the monster was doing a really good job abating us. Anyways, I hope you liked it. And if you did, smash that like button down below. Comment, subscribe to see more Evolve on my channel in the future. And like always, boys and girls, thank you so very much for watching. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And I'll see you on the next one. Johnny!